What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, uh, 1500 Stizzle. So, might be kind of war, kind of one wanting to know like why my title is the way my title is. Well, for starters, this is my 2019 uh, Spartan RZ mower. Uh, it's got like 29 hours on it now. Um, I'm actually doing the first uh, oil. Uh, break in change it was supposed to be due at 24 but it's at 29 now so i'm doing it <coughs> i'm using uh full synthetic 1550 vanguard and just uh, uh oil filter right there that's the oil filter it's pretty easy to change the oil on these things uh oil filter is right there unscrew that and they make this real cool no tool needed just pop off the top and then drain the oil from here but anyways okay so i'll make this real short I've had this mower about a year in June, and first mow, on the very first mow, this bolt right here on the clutch came out, okay, and it sheared my wires up to my clutch, well down to my clutch. So I called the dealership I bought it from, Steigler Power Sports, a guy named Teddy, he was a real cool guy, whatever made him talk, really nice guy he owns a used car dealership and sells mowers pretty much the same thing i do i do the same thing um i it's my first time ever using this thing i was on it probably 10 minutes before that bolt came out so i didn't know what the hell happened all i know was the mower stopped cutting so i contacted him and he said basically hey dude make it work and i'll replace the clutch and the wiring harness under warranty so i went to lowe's i got my own uh spliced my own wire in there re went and got a replacement bolt did all that stuff like that made my mower work and it's fine the mower works fine okay i just had to it looks a little bit sketchy because all the tapes on that but whatever so i made it work about a week go by uh there was a holiday two weeks go by uh i'm calling them texting them i'm like hey dude uh can we still get this part replaced I got nothing. Um, so I said, you know what? Screw it. Winter time's coming anyway. I just kind of put the mower up. Um, the break of uh, fall here, I said, you know what? I'm going to need the mower soon. So I actually reached out to him again, left him uh, voicemails. I text him, called. I didn't get anything. I have voice, I have uh, text messages and all that stuff to prove I tried to reach out. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take it to a higher level. I don't know if something's wrong with his family. If he's, you know what I mean? I don't know what's wrong, but I don't want to just, you know, assume things. So I took it to a little bit of higher power. Power went to Spartan's website, contacted somebody from Spartan, a guy named Steve Settling or Settles or something like that, reached out to me. And he assured me everything was going to get taken care of. I live about 15 minutes tops away from where I bought it from. It was delivered to me. He promised me he was going to come and get it and fix it. And that never happened. Steve reached out to me. Uh, three months go by. Nothing happens. And then now we're here now. So it's been almost a year. And my mower, it does work. But I had to splice some stuff together to make it work. And I feel like... It should be replaced under warranty because it wasn't my fault. I should get a brand new clutch, just like he said. I'm not asking for anything extra or anything special. I just want him to do what he said he was going to do originally. You know what I mean? That's it. That's all. Come pick it up and, you know, you replace it under warranty, call it a day. And we'll be good. But at this point, uh, Spartan, their fucking customer service, excuse my language, their customer service sucks. Teddy's customer service sucks. They all suck. The mower itself is a badass mower. I love this mower. It's my favorite mower. Usually I clean it after I um, use it, but I knew I was going to change the oil, so I didn't want to get oil all over it um, once it's clean. But once I use it today, I will um, clean it up. But anyways, yeah. Um, so I will never buy another Spartan mower. For the for that simple fact at all i i mean i have a warranty on this thing it's not even a year old it's a year old in june um it's not even a year old and i can't even get service done anywhere no like it's it's, it's absolutely ridiculous 
I spent $4,200 on a brand new mower and the first 10 minutes I'm on it, an issue happens because a boat is loose. It's not even my fault and I can't get any support from anybody from the dude I bought it from to Spartan itself. And Spartan, like I said, he reached out to me one time and never called me back. Never. I emailed him and he had no clue. He acted like he had no clue who I was. His name's Steve Sutters or Steve Suttle, Suttleton or Sutherland or whatever the case may be. But so I will never buy another Spartan mower a day in my life because of that. They will never get a dollar of my money ever again. But I do love the mower. So if you're all about working on a brand new mower, then be my guest. This is the mower for you. But it is a super, super nice mower. I, I will tell you that it's built real nice. I will never question the integrity of this mower and how Spartan built it. They did build a really nice mower, but their customer service is not on a level and it needs a whole bunch of help. I'm not asking them to send me a new mower. I'm not asking them to give me money back. I'm not asking for any of that. The only thing I'm asking is you replace what you said you would replace. This thing supposedly has a warranty. That's all I want, nothing special. I'm not, you know, I'm not crying about it. I'm not doing anything. I can't get any solu I can't get any solutions or anything resolved. So I figured I would just go to YouTube and take advantage of this platform just to put the word out there. Steigler Power Sports, Teddy and Steve Suttleton from Spartan Morris.